Sure. in the hyperspace room. We're caught in their tractor beam. Do you recognize the ship? It's the Leviathan. Saul Karras vessel. Admiral Kareth taught me everything I know about being a soldier. He was a legend in the Republic fleet, and a hero to me until he betrayed us. When the Sith attacked my homeworld, the Leviathan, Saul Kareth's flagship, was at the head of the fleet. My family was destroyed that day, and my wife died in the Sith bombardment. That is not the way of the Jedi. Vengeance, anger, emotion. These things lead to the dark side. I'm not gonna do anything stupid. I won't throw our lives away in some way to quest for vengeance, but if I get a chance to kill Saul during our escape, nobody gonna get it. Talk of an escape is somewhat premature, don't you think? 
We don't even have a plan to get out of this mess yet. I'll admit it won't be easy. Saul's no fool, and he won't underestimate us either. We count on plenty of guards watching every move we make. Maybe Admiral Carruth doesn't know how many of us there are on board. We all have special talents. Talents we can exploit so that one of us can stage a rescue. We just have to figure out who has the best chance to avoid capture so they can come and rescue us later. It's a long shot. That's our only hope. Well, if we're gonna pick someone to save our skins, we better do it quick. In another minute, we're gonna have Sith troops marching up our loading ramp. Statement. My construction includes a reserve memory chip and backup power supply that automatically kicks in if I have been shut down too long. Deactivate my main circuits and wipe my memory chip. The Sith will take me to the junk heap, and I can come rescue the rest of you after I reactivate. Answer. That is possible. My reserve power supply is a prototype yet to be tested, yet I can attempt this task if you wish. Hold on. They're dragging us into the docking bridge. Bastila, Karth, and the crew have been taken prisoner as you ordered, Commander. Excellent. Have you searched the ship thoroughly? Admiral Karath warned me to be on alert for any kind of treachery. We found a disabled hunter-killer droid in the back of the ship. Excellent. We can reprogram this droid to fight in our own army. Wipe its memory chip and take it to the salvage shop. The technicians will deal with it later. Karth, it has been far too long since we last spoke. I see the recent months have not been kind in your case. I barely recognized you. But I recognize you, Saul. I see your face every night, even as I promise myself I will kill you for what you did to my home world. Did you learn nothing in your time under me? As a soldier, you should understand that casualties were unavoidable. This was an act of war. That was a cowardly act of betrayal. Your fleet bombed a civilian target into oblivion without warning or provocation, and the blood of those innocent people is on your hands. In war, even the innocent must die. The Sith would not accept me until I proved I had truly turned my back on the Republic by bombing the planet. My wife died in that attack, Saul. And for that, I swear I'll kill you. You used to be a man of action, not of empty words. Cling to your lust for revenge if you must, but spare me your tired threats. I've heard them all before. You're an insignificant part of these events anyway. Lord Malak is far more interested in your Jedi companions. He has great plans for them. We will never serve Malak or the Dark Side. The Sith will be destroyed, Admiral Carath, as will you if you don't turn away from this path. Your words are brave, Bastila, but the lure of the Dark Side is hard to resist. Or so I've been told. I wonder if your companion is as devoted to the light as you are. Your loyalty is as fickle as ever, I see. Malak will find that amusing, though I seriously doubt he will want you of all people at his side. The Dark Lord would probably reward me if I just killed you once and for all, but he may want to question you given the trouble you've caused him, and the history between you. You mean, oh, this can't be true, can it? You really don't know what's going on here, do you? Well, I won't be the one to deprive Malak of the pleasure of telling you himself. The Dark Lord will no doubt torture you for information and for his own twisted pleasure. Eventually, you will tell him everything. The Sith can be very persuasive. However, Lord Malak is in another sector. It may be some time before he arrives, so I suppose I will have to fill in for him until then. Activate the torture fields. <laughs> Enough. I don't want them to pass out before I question them. Malik will appreciate any information I can give him when he arrives. Don't waste your breath, Saul. We won't answer any of your questions. I'm sure you won't. However, we both know your friend's loyalties have proven in the past to be somewhat flexible. What are you saying? Physical pain is nothing compared to the suffering of the galaxy if Malak should defeat the Jedi. It is time to put your loyalty to the test. I doubt torturing you will gain me your true cooperation. Your will is too strong to be broken that way. However, even the strongest of heroes has trouble watching those they care about suffering. The interrogation will begin now. Each time you refuse to answer, it will be a false answer. 
Bastila will suffer. You expect me to fall for such a transparent ploy? You travel halfway across the galaxy with someone and you expect me to believe you feel nothing for each other? I tire of these games. Now I want answers. On what planet is the Jedi Academy in which you were trained? No, don't say any more. An excellent beginning. I'm glad you are being reasonable. This first question was a test. Obviously, Malak knew the Academy was on Dantuin, and it has since been destroyed by our fleet. Dantuin is an empty graveyard now. Nothing is there but a smoking ruin and the charred remains of your former masters. A brave front, but your feigned indifference does not fool me. Your masters are eradicated, along with any hope of someone rescuing you. Now, tell me your mission. How were the Jedi planning on using you to stop Lord Malak and our Sith Armada? Why? Why are you telling him this? You should be grateful, Bastila. He is sparing you agony beyond comprehension. Words that betray the Jedi Order bring me more pain than any torture ever could. Tell me, how did you find out about the Star Forge? No! How could you betray the Jedi like this? I find your willingness to cooperate pleasing, though it seems your answers are quite upsetting to Bastila. Not to worry. We are almost finished here. The information you have given me has been most useful, but I fear our session is over. Lord Malak will want to continue with this line of questioning himself. I will leave you here in your cell with a small taste of the horrors you will suffer when Lord Malak arrives. <laughs> Don't try to move too quickly. You might not be fully recovered yet. Admiral Carath had his guards continue to torture you even after you passed out. They tortured all of us, though you got the worst of it by far. Saul wanted them to make us suffer. He's become some sort of sadistic monster. The dark side has perverted him, Karth. Once you start down the tainted path, it leads you ever further into the depths of evil. I fear he is forever lost. This is not a matter to joke about. If there is one thing we can learn from... Sorry, forgive me. I suppose I'm taking the news of Dantooine's destruction. We should have felt a disturbance in the Force when the attack came. The fact that we did not is a bad... I can only hope that some of the Jedi escaped. Grok, Endar, Saar... I cannot... None of this will matter if we don't get out... Saul mentioned that Lord Malak was on his way. I think the Admiral left to prepare for his arrival. I only wish you'd been able to resist the Admiral's questioning. I hope the information... I've known Admiral Carath a long time, and I think you're right. The interrogation was a sham. Saul was toying with us. He didn't... Did you feel that? A disturbance in the Force. The Admiral has sent his message. The Dark Lord knows we're here now. Malak is coming. Well, then we better hope HK-47 busts us out of here before he arrives.
successful entry. Rani Dubo, Tonkin Ba, Nokun, Tong Hitwama Aki Inko Tune, or Tong Hitwama Ji Akiska Dosoki, Kopa Bono Nakachu, Abu. But when this is all over, I'm gonna see the Republic gives you a medal for your part in this. Now, if I remember the layout of the ship, our equipment should be in a storage chamber just through the north doors. After we grab our stuff, we need to get to the main bridge controls. The bridge is the only place that we can open the docking gates of the hangar where they've got the Ebon Hawk. We have to open those gates before we can fly out of here. We better get moving. I can feel the darkness of Malik's presence approaching, and I don't want to be here when he arrives. None of us is a match for the Sith Lord. Surprise and secrecy will serve us best. A small group might have a better chance of sneaking onto the bridge undetected while the others make their way down to the Ebon Hawk. Count me in, then. I've got a score to settle with the Admiral before we get off this ship. And I have a feeling I'm gonna find him on the Leviathan's bridge. That's a good idea. The others can get to the Ebon Hawk on their own, but Karth and I might need your help. The three of us will get our equipment and make our way to the bridge. The rest of you head down to the docking hangar where they've got the Ebon Hawk. You'll have to find a way to deal with the guards. Don't you worry about that. I know how to deal with the guards. They won't know what hit them. We'll meet you there as soon as we get those docking bay doors open. Just make sure the Hawk is ready to...
This is Candorus. We're at the Evan Hawk. Like we figured, it's under heavy guard. But don't worry, we'll figure out a plan to take care of them. Thank you. 
And I suggest.
didn't work. Yes? Nope. 
problem.
Problem. Didn't work. What can I do? Ready? What? 